So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can analyse your questionnaire data using EpiInfo Visual Dashboard. So the, um, the data that we've got here is some um, questionnaire data collected using Kobo Toolbox. It's already been anonymised. We've removed the uh, GPS information about the household and we didn't ask for the um, interviewee's name. Now, I just want to show you something about these files before we um, open them up in Visual Dashboard. So if we go right over, we're in the household uh, worksheet here. If we go right over to the this side, we can see this column called index. And each household has a unique number. Now, if we go into the household dog worksheet, and we go over to the right-hand side, we can see uh, this column, which is the parent index. And this number relates to the household number. So the first job we're going to do in Visual Dashboard is link this worksheet with this household information here. OK, so we're going to go ahead and open uh, Visual Dashboard. Go to CDC, Epi Info. I think I double clicked there, so it didn't like that. Let me just do that one more time. There we go, and Visual Dashboard. So the first thing we need to do is tell Visual Dashboard, which is the analysis tool, which data we want to look at. Now we're going to specifically look at analysing the household dog data because we know we can get reasonably good analysis through the Kobo Toolbox Analysis tool. So we may not need to analyse our household data. Just know that if you want to use Visual Dashboard for your household data, you just have to select the household worksheet um, at a later stage. So we're going to select our data source now. We need to change this database type to um, XLSX to match our uh, data file. We're then going to browse to the location where our data file is saved which is this particular folder, and here is our questionnaire data to analyse. We need to make sure that the first row contains header information is ticked, and we click OK. Now it's at this stage that you can choose which worksheet you want to analyse. Now if you just wanted to analyse the household worksheet, you just open that one now. But we want to analyse our household dogs, and we also want to link that data to the household information. So we're going to first of all open our household dogs worksheet. And we can see up here that our household dog worksheet has now been um, imported or is being looked at rather by Visual Dashboard. We've got just six records in, this is a relatively small sample size. And now we want to link this household dog data to the household that this dog lives in. So we're going to go up to Options, Add Related Data Source, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to choose our XLSX database type. We're going to browse. We're going to find our um, Excel file. Click OK. And this time we're going to select the household. But now we need to do something down here. We need to tell Visual Dashboard how to link the two up. So you remember those columns that I showed you in Excel? Now we're going to identify them here. So under the parent key field, we want to put parent index. So that's the column in the household dogs worksheet that allows us to link up the household dogs with their appropriate household. Then in the child key field, we want to open up and select index. And that's the household number that was in the household worksheet, and we click OK. Now that allows us to do some more interesting analysis. Now we can do some very basic analysis, first of all. We could maybe look at the frequency of uh, gender. So let's scroll down here to our household dog questions. And we can choose this, what gender is your dog question, and click OK. 
So we can see that we have six dogs, three, uh, two of them are female and four of them were male. Now we can use a, a slightly more complex or um, more interesting form of analysis. Again, we can click um, our variables and I think this time we will use um, again from the household dog questions um, is your dog sterilized and this time we're going to group that by the gender of the dog so again we're going to go household dog what gender is your dog and click OK now we can see that of the female dogs um, two of them are indeed sterilized and none of them are left entire on of the four male dogs three of them are sterilized and only one of them is left entire but remember that we also linked our household dog data with the data from our household so we can now start to ask whether there are some qualities of the dog that are linked or predictable in some way from qualities of the household so for example Let's look at this question um, about sterilization. So we're going to right click, um, add analysis gadget, and we're going to go to frequency. The variable we'd like to look at now is again in the household dog. Is your dog sterilized? But this time we're going to group by a question from our household questionnaire. So if we scroll all the way down here, you'll notice some questions do not start with household dog. And those are the questions that are just about the household. And here is one about what gender is the respondent. Let's click that. Click OK. And now we can see that of our female respondents, of which we have five, all five female respondents chose to sterilise their dog. We had one male respondent, just one male, and he decided not to sterilise his dog. Now one benefit of using Visual Dashboard is that it allows you to save your analysis. So you can build up quite a complex set of analysis here. Um, you'll note that Visual um, Dashboard includes um, options for charting your data. It also includes some um, um, basic analysis. You can work out means. It can do chi-squared to look at um, whether there's sig significant differences between groups. And when you've, once you've done all that, what you can do is actually save the canvas. So under options, they call it a canvas, this analysis that you've set up. So you can save your canvas as something like, um, as we called it here, I've called it, uh, well, let's give it a new name, household dog analysis and save. You can then close this canvas. reopen visual dashboard and instead of having to do this set data source job so long as your um, excel file is in the same place you can go back to open a canvas here's our household dog analysis we've just created double click that and what it's done is reconnected to the same data file and uh, re-display all of this analysis that we created just a moment ago. And the other benefit is that should you start to collect more data that has exactly the same format, so it can't handle data where the, the, uh, the column names and so on has changed, but if the data has the same format, the same column uh, names, you can go to um, Options, Canvas Properties, and then you can select a different file. So you can select a more up-to-date uh, data set of the, the same data type, and then it will reanalyze all that fresh data using the same analysis so that you don't have to keep redoing your analysis canvas as new data comes in. You can just ask it under Canvas Properties to look at a different Excel file. Okay, and that's it for this video on how to use Visual Dashboard.